right, we're going to do one last project with this design that you created for your stamp. So when we made this design, we made this um, design reflect or be symmetrical. Um, and then when we did our stamps, we had to end up rotating this stamp. So this design didn't come out as um, specific as we designed it as a pencil drawing. So now we're actually going to use this design for one more project that's going to become a painting. So look in your art folder for your rough draft drawing here and if you still have your tracing paper we're going to use that. If you lost this piece of tracing paper I can give you another piece to put on top of this design and then trace those pencil lines. So this time we're going to be printing on watercolor paper and this is heavy paper that is meant to be painted on. So I still want to look for the design that was where the corners connect and that's where I know how to place this on my paper because if this is the corner it has to be in the center. So I want to try and give myself just a little bit of edge away from the side of the um, tissue paper or the printing paper because we're also going to be taping this down before we turn it to paint. So we need a little area to dry stretch. So then I'm just going to hold this still and I'm going to trace. And you should already have pencil on the back of this if it's your original piece. If you needed to get a new piece, remember that you have to have pencil on both sides. Otherwise, you're not going to get a print on the paper below you. Um, so when I finish tracing this, I'm going to take it off my page um, to see how that print turned out. And I'm just going to try and hold it as still as I can while I trace. Okay, so when I finish this, I'm going to have that light pencil copy like what we had before. So this is a very, very light copy, but it's dark enough that I can see those lines. But I'm not going to outline that anymore because I don't want to see a dark gray pencil outline. Um, instead, I'm going to be working with my watercolor pencils that I'm going to be working with. So then I'm going to flip this over and I'm going to try and line it up with the edges of my first one as best as I can. So I know I'm trying to make these lines connect here and then I'm going to go ahead and trace that and print that again until I've got all four of mine drawn out. Alright, so now I'm going to begin to color these in with my pencils, but um, I want to try and play with my hand pressure. So I could color soft, really, really soft, but then start to apply harder hand pressure and make it go from really, really soft to really, really dark. That's called creating value. So I could play around with that, or I could play around with maybe my dark blue mixing into the lighter blue and how it might fade from one into the other. Or maybe my blue then fades into purple down here on the end. And where they overlap, I've got some blue-violet. So I want you to demonstrate blending colors somewhere within the design, um, but you decide where that's going to be. So I think I'm going to start out with soft blue in the center, and then I'm going to change my hand pressure and blend it into the darker blue on the outer edges. So I'm going to start by coloring these the light blue first and we're going to fade to dark blue. So we want to get all of the coloring done first before we then turn it to paint. So now I've got my dark blue and now I'm going to really build up my hand pressure and push a lot harder to make it go a lot bolder on the end. So you can see how it's now showing value change. And I'm going to start with just the shapes that I drew to begin with. I'm not going to do anything yet with the in-between space, but instead I'm just going to focus on the lines and shapes that I drew in 
from that original drawing and get those colors down first before I do anything with my background. So then I might decide if I'm done with blue or um, if I want to start to introduce some of the greens and the violets. And I think I want this shape to be green. That's going to fade into the darker green. So when I'm coloring, I want to color in the same direction. I want to color inside my lines and get it nice and solid. Now I'm going to start to transition into my darker green. So then this is going to become my dark green. So you are welcome to use the black color pencil. Um, the white, you don't want to use it as is because white on white paper is not going to show up, but you could layer the white over another color and see what that does. So the first thing we have to do is get this whole assignment colored in and then I will show you how we turn it to a painting after it's been colored 